I mean, just look at the size of that thing. It's huge. Well, alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along. Welcome to another day here on Saturn Farm. My name is Ed, your, uh, your newbie tractor driver really for this uh, business. And I am currently, well I'm, um, I'm dodging traffic right now if I'm honest. Uh, I am going down to, I've got, the, I've got big yellow on the back, which is a monstrously big uh, Joskin Transpace trailer. Uh, the problem being, I'm heading down to a local store to get some uh, pig food actually. And um, I'm on the, what appears to be on the path for the local school run, so I'm on the pull over very frequently. Um, but, we're nearly there, it's just a couple more, uh, I think it's about a kilometre or two, mile or two down the road here. Uh, and then we're, we're going to get some, uh, we're not going to fill this full because the ground we're going onto is particularly wet. And there's no way this fence is going to pull it through there apparently, if it's that wet. So, uh, what we need to do is probably put about half foolish uh, and then we can go look at the weeds in there uh, then we'll look in to see what we can do get this tipped into the, the some silos down there and then um, oh, and another one well I'm going to have to pull over into this bush because there's nowhere to go over there I think I've pulled over about five or six times now it's ridiculous and those cars don't budge at all go on there you go. Excellent. So you can see where we're heading. Uh, so we're going to get this done. There's a few things we need to do today. Uh, a few quite interesting things as it goes as well. Uh, which we'll be looking forward to seeing. There's a lot of weeds around here. Good grief. I don't know what that was, but it's mainly just weeds right now. Ooh, and then another one. Add the joys of the school rush. You're kidding. space and you didn't even move once. This is incredible. I also though, really like the fence at the moment. It's been great so far. And another car, typically. Uh, we've been doing various little bits and pieces in it. Uh, I need to go and do some spraying soon, so we might need to see if the road crops on for that one. Uh, there are going to be some changes today once we finish this. We're going to go back to the yard and there's a new arrival coming. Uh, the first of Henry's new gifts to himself this year, really, I think. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Now we're actually going to be heading up there in a moment or two. Uh, we just need to get down this road to finally get to where the stores, get some pig feed, and then we'll uh, get ourselves away. So I will be back with you in just a moment, and we'll see um, see if we can get some food on this trailer. I mean, just look at the size of that thing. It's huge. It's probably, I think it's a 20, 25 tunnel in. Something around there, I'm sure someone can tell me, but it's monstrously big. And uh, we're gonna get a little bit more into here and then we can uh, get ourselves away, I should imagine. But you can easily see why Henry's thinking about going for something a little bit larger uh, in terms of tractor size. If this is his trailer, uh, assuming he keeps this one, uh, maybe gets another one, I don't know. When it's full of wheat, you're gonna want something big and heavy on the front to, to kind of command that, otherwise, it's gonna be an interesting ride. Keep trying to position the fast track because pulling this with a fast track would be pretty good fun. But we'll have to see. Uh, it's obviously entirely to him. Uh, but yeah, this fence from a, kind of a new operator standpoint on this machine is uh, is great actually. I'm really really enjoying driving this. Right, we'll just pop into the office there, see what we've got, and we'll be back out in a moment. All right, 20 tons we have in there, which is quite a lot. Should keep those hungry little pigs going for a while. Uh, now the interesting part comes uh, right now. We're out here quite early where it's been dry for a while So hopefully it's uh, It's not gonna be too damp or too sticky and we're just gonna we have some silos on store there So we can just tip most of this in there uh, And then let it be although I might tip it a little bit straight to the trough as well But boy, can you feel the weight on this all of a sudden? Heavens. Usually these pigs get a variety feed, they get uh, this kind of meal that we've uh, picked up now. They get straw, they get a hair and silage I think, and also some root crops from time to time. Uh, there's no straw in there at the moment, we've run out of straw for now, so I don't know if Henry's going to wait until we get our own, or if he's going to um, 
try and source them. That's a, a decision for him to make, really, because I'm sure it would be quite expensive to pick up a lot of straw these days. Ooh, get over there. So there's some puddles lying around, but overall the surface is quite hard, so that's, that's always a good sign. And we'll just take our time through here. There we go. Trailer does have some slightly wider flotations on it in terms of tyres there, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. Kind of slides along the road a little bit more than the, some of the older trailers I've pulled around in my time, uh, which is quite nice. This, there's a hell of a weed problem around here. I'm glad that's not our field. Although Henry did mention I got some spray to do at some point, so maybe I'm coming to do something like this. We just don't know. I did recently pass up all of my uh, licensing to allow me to handle sprays and chemicals, which is something you need. I believe it's a PA4, someone might be able to uh, correct me. Uh, so I've got everything I need now, which is good. Uh, it gives, makes me a little bit more invaluable as well, it makes me a little bit more uh, preferred over other operators when you have all the, the necessary skills and uh, licensing on hand. Zip around this way. Oh, this is a bit bumpy here, though. Well, anyway, we're going to work our way on down to the um, to the pig yard. We'll get everything up and working there, and then we'll um, we'll come back to you. Because yeah, we're going to go and see what I think. By the time we get back to the yard, uh, given the time, something might be waiting for us, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright then, stage one is done. We've got a little bit in the trough, so that should keep those hungry little monsters going. Uh, and then, right, we're going to see if we can tip the rest of it into one of these. Let's go this one. That's nice and empty. You can see it's being fairly compacted down here. I believe there was a bit of stone in here at one point, but uh, it is It's holding up. I think it's probably the fairest way to evaluate it It's holding up This train is monstrous to try and reverse around it really is can't see anything. There we go Well, it's tipped it there. I don't think it's going down in yet, but it has tipped it there anyway. So, uh, what we'll do is we're going to head back on up. At least we can get it from there with the shovel when we need to. Uh, that will work out quite nicely. We just need to spin this around. We're going to head back over to the yard there, where we have to kind of sneak along the side of one of our fields. Oddly, there's not a track in there yet for us, so I'm sure you'll get one sorted out at some stage. And away we go. Right, so back along the spine bending uh, track, we're going to go back to the yard there where we'll catch up with you in a little bit. We're going to go and see what's awaiting us. It's real weed grown weather, it's creeping into that maze as well. That's been chopped though, I think, for biogas, so it's, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine in there. They don't need to move that up too much. So we're heading back into the yard, you can just see where the tank is and uh, the shed is there now. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, yes, in the last video there, we are looking to, or Henry is looking to slowly expand the equipment on the yard here and upgrade things. Um, which is why he brought me in, and which is why he also brought this in. Uh, so, what we're going to do first is try and sneak it over here and drop off this trailer. But there is, he went for a shiny manatee. Look at that! That's pretty nice looking. 
Well, folks, look at this. This is looking fantastic. This is a Manitou 737 130. Uh, I didn't know what he was going for. He just said there was a telehandler arriving. So I happen to think he might have gone for um, for JCB. Or he's talking a lot about one of those class scorpions. But uh, here we go. Got himself a Manitou there. And it looks great. Uh, what we're going to do, though, what this does mean as well, is that it is the end of the small fent. So that's being traded away for this. So what we need to do is unload this one uh, there is so far it's coming with the forks on the front the bucket you can see and there's also like a bag grab on the other end of the lorry there um, so we will just get this all swapped around uh, where can we put these implements for now uh, we'll put them over here somewhere it's got a heck of a nice tight little circle uh, lock on it that's great to see uh, so you can see the bail, the bag grab is in there, so we'll get a hold of that as well and just stick it into here for now, I should think. There we go. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of bales. Uh, he's always done a lot of bales, hence the reason why there's a monster square baler over there. But he's looking to increase that, and he also the, the bale handling side of the things will have to increase as well. So. As much as that old fence is in good shape, it was just been a little bit too slow to uh, to do everything you wanted with the bales. So that's why we are we've up up the game here a little bit. Uh, a lot of our bales here will be going directly to the um, power station across the road. So it's not that, not a difficult haul by any stretch. It's just a haul that needs to be done quite quickly, really. Uh, so we'll leave that there as well. Ooh, let's not pierce that bag. It's a shame because that old little fent there was a great looking little tractor in fantastic condition but it's meant to end so we need to move on with it and we'll up the game. And well it does mean for right now though we're down to a one tractor farm which is not ideal because we've got a lot of work coming up. So I hope he's got a few demonstrations lined up over the course of the, of the next few days, that's for sure. Okay and we'll just stick this into the shed for now. This where my tractor was. Excellent. And now we've only really got the muck fork for this still. So, well, that's all that's been traded away with it. So that's all we're going to put onto the back of the truck. Nice and easy. Perfect stuff. So we're all loaded up. I'm going to get this driver away from here. Got a few things to do around the yard, then I think I'm away up to do some spraying. Uh, so we'll need to get everything moved before I get in there, but we'll leave it here. This has been another kind of uh, little few odd jobs that I have to get up to every day. It's still The day is still young though, so there's plenty of time for me to get out and get everything covered. Uh, more importantly, a bit of time to get playing with this new telehandler. So we'll see how that goes, and I'm sure you'll see more of it over the coming days and weeks. For now though, I have been Ed, your friendly tractor driver. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Simulation for the Nation, who very kindly agrees to host everything. And we will see you in the next one. So until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what we're doing, and we'll catch you later.